All right. So we're going to be working on the spider. I kind of like teased at this one in a like a like a, a while ago actually. So uh, it's time. But you see, like the mantis character is just the blocking that I started from, so it's not really like an inspiring reference. No? But uh, yeah, that'll be it. That'll be it. So um, this is the blocking that I I, uh, I had that I made last time, and um, I was relooking at it, and um, I think I'm pretty comfortable with uh, starting with this character actually, with doing this character, in terms of like like the silhouette shape and, and that sort of stuff. Um, like I'm pretty happy of like how it looks and that sort of stuff. I might get rid of these like needles at the back. I'm not sure if uh, they're really going to uh, help my purpose or I might keep them and just like see later if uh, I'm good with them. But yeah, that's the character we're going to be working on. Uh, little backpack, the arms, so eight limbs in total, like a spider. Uh, the other character had the uh, six limbs each, since they're like more like insects. This one is technically would be the series arachnoid instead of insectoid, but uh, insectoids. But hey, whatever, you know what. It's all good. Um, let's check the chat. Uh, are you going to come up with the concept on fly or do you have something prepared? No, I have something already prepared. Uh, hello, everyone. I don't know. Tesk, I was looking for, for Kevlar or heat sleep material. Yeah. Bonjour de Bordeaux, Marco. Et bien le bonjour. Uh, so, Marco, have you seen Cedric's new bust sculpt you posted on YouTube? Uh, yes, I, I did. He's my. He's my, my partner, <laughs> like I see everything. <laughs> um, looking so cool, uh, new, nice new character. Uh, have you found any use of stuff like Mid Journey for your creative process, or are you riding that anti AI wave? Um, I'm not, like, I'm not anti AI because, like, in, in at the end of the day, I mean, like, a tool is a tool, right? I'm just, it's it's really like it's first of all, it's a complex subject, like, because um. It's the same. It's the same as like when like the scans started to appear and like, it's like oh well, we'll nobody's gonna do like faces or like bodies again, and it didn't really happen. Uh, we kind of like needed that, but also we needed the artists that were good at like understanding those those subjects. So like stuff like um like uh, automated stuff like uh, I believe like it it has to be harnessed by people that truly understand like the the subject behind it, like the art behind it. So uh, I'm never against a tool by itself, but of course the subject is much, much more complex than that. Uh, I don't want to get into that because that's kind of like intense and in pretty intense subject. Um, but like, have I been using it? Uh, I've tried it. Um, it does not super inspire me, but like, I know that like for some people it did. Um, so me personally so far, yeah, I've been kind of like trying to use it trying to see if i can actually like it, like get it into my workflow and stuff so far i was not really able to uh but i try to keep like a, an open mind in case at some point like i see like a, a benefit to uh to using it but I, I get like a lot of pleasure from just like doing things the way that i've been doing things so this is why when i do my personal project i tend to just go by what feels natural to me i'd say uh, wow, amazing design. Thank you. Uh, you'll be avoiding the spider-like ab abdomen. Oh, well, yes, I'm not going to put the abdomen there because the, I I haven't done any of this in the design of the characters so far. Like, the wasp doesn't have, like, the abdomen doesn't have, like, the wings. There's, like, the mosquito that has the long wings. And um, so, like, uh, there, there are, like, still humanoid characters at the end. But I, I was... Um, I was inspired by the shape of the abdomen uh, to create some of the shapes on the character. Like every, like the fact that like it's like mostly rounded. It's like it's a mix of like rounded and like those like long limbs, right? Those like tiny long limbs. So this was the um, the inspiration for the shapes of the spider, actually. So in a sense, yes, they are there, 
like spiritually if you want um the yeah so like all the roundness of like the big thighs uh the butt is pretty rounded as well um the uh those shapes of like the shoulders and and whatnot uh are inspired by the the round shapes of the spider and then you have like the extensions like this and also like the goal was not to make her like like super freak ish i'd say because like if i wanted to make her super freak ish it would be like even thinner limbs and that sort of stuff um like and this is not like the look of the insectoids like they're not necessarily um freak that way they're more like like badass i would say if i had a word for it uh so yeah um da -da 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 -da. Uh, uh, but, but. yeah it's a tool uh, that's why i asked if you've found news of what's out there as of now yeah yeah um true new sculpt series um so yeah no the well it's it's not a new series but it's a new sculpt in the series of the insectoids all right um well let's take a little sip of coffee and let's get started So, in the same vein as the other characters, uh, this character is going to be composed of like a few uh, different materials. Uh, there's going to be uh, the fiber muscles that are visible on every every character, especially like near the flex the flexible areas and stuff. Um, the there's also like the outside armor that uh, right now is pretty bare, but I'm, I'm going to be adding uh, stuff on them. Uh, there is one part that I'm looking at right now that kind of like bothers me. It's uh, it's like the, the, the shoulders here, like the shape of that shoulder. I feel like it should actually be cut like this, like uniform shape here, I think doesn't um, doesn't work out really well. So so we have the armor, uh, the synthetic muscles. Uh, then there's going to be like all of like that cloth, uh, those cloth cloth parts that are also part of this, like the design of the character that always comes back. And um, yeah, that's pretty much um, that's pretty much like what composes the character. There's like some carbon fiber like parts and some like visor like glass parts also. But that's I can I just consider this like the the normal. Um, hard surface oh yeah and also there's going to be like the cables and uh, and that sort of stuff right so um so 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 and yeah and I'll, of course like i'm going to be creating this character kind of like thinking ahead of like how it could be printed uh as all of the other series that i did uh i did resin resin statues of them um and uh let me just show you that um for anybody that wants to go on this website also, just uh, click the, the link at the bottom of the screen, right? Uh, no, not this one. This one. So, like, on our website, we have a bunch of stuff, right? And, uh, oh, wait, it's up there. And uh, we still have, like, a few. Uh, there's still, like, these ones, these resin kits that are still available, right? And uh, this is basically, like... The, uh, like the, the original, right? This one came in like two sizes. And um, yeah, so like I want to make it like another resin kit for, uh, for these. And uh, the other ones are sold out though. If you go and look for them, like, there's just the, the wasp and the, the mosquito that are left. Huh? But the goal is that it's to be printed. And uh, you have to kind of like think... Um, just have in the back of your head uh, the idea that like things need to be like somewhat solid. Uh, we can't do too much like hollowing um, or negative space. So this is a constraint we're going to be uh, working with also. Um, yep. This is like my little, my little um, explanation. Uh, 
All right, so I think I'm just gonna give myself the permission to just go around the the character and um, like analyze my needs, basically. Just kind of like get back into um, get back into it. Huh? Maybe I'll just like subdivide this. Add a layer and try a few things. Or maybe not add a layer, but, um, well, maybe. You can get away with those nipples being sci-fi elements, of course. Well, I mean, also they're not really placed at the right area. But uh, at the, when it's gonna be, <laughs> when it, I'm gonna add the IMMs and stuff, it might actually just not really look uh, like that. Plus, to be honest, like it was not really my intention. Um, like I, I totally see though, for sure. But uh, no, it was, uh, it was. I just like really like this kind of like idea of like um, like spheres with like those like module or uh, circular modules on them. Are you doing the concept phase fully in ZBrush or do you tend to sketch things out? Uh, most of the time it's fully in ZBrush. Sometimes I do like some thumbnails and research outside for like bigger projects with like large series, like the Elementalists and that sort of stuff. Huh? Or anything from New Apocalypse. Huh? Smart design, I could give you that. <laughs>
thing I always keep the um, like some like color code to uh, differentiate like the cloth from this from that the breakups thinking about like possible like flexion of the limbs that sort of stuff it's um yeah, just a, a way that I go by things uh let's just check what the chat is saying because uh I haven't checked really Okay, uh, I had a question about your sculpting journey. Do you think that there is a point in your life where you thought um, that you can't be better at sculpting in terms of quality and precision, just faster and more efficient? Uh, more, uh, I don't know. I never really like asked me this question. Like, um, what happened was that I just like hit like a level where I was like comfortable and happy with like uh, what I did. And I always keep like an open mind uh, when I try to to kind of like discover new designs and stuff. Uh, in terms of like the the quality, I think it's the one where I'm like I was like okay, I'm satisfied with that, and and people seems to be seem to be also, and I didn't feel like I needed to pursue like quality per se. Although uh, you know, when I find tricks and when I realize stuff, I always try to better myself. But it wasn't like a quest necessarily. Uh, in terms of like design and stuff, sometimes I just design things because it comes naturally and I like it, like those like insectoids. And sometimes I try to try new things that I didn't think at first that took some research, like the elementalist and and that sort of stuff. And this is where like I spend a bit of time to try to discover like new designs and stuff, I'd say. But in, in terms of like bettering myself, um, I think what like I said what really happens it's more like I get to a level where like I'm comfortable and people seem to they require my skills and this is where like I I started to just like coast more in that uh, area I'd say uh doesn't that kind of like depends on what you consider better mastering style uh yeah uh-huh uh thank you kind of true yeah not very artsy, but if you look at people like because who are Van Gogh, they went from super arts into completely unique style. So consider that better since their style. Okay, uh -huh. yeah, depend on a lot of things, but arts. Let's just see. It's cool. People are talking with each other. That's really nice. Uh, hello, hello, Keenan, Aaron. Uh, true. That's. It's really. It's really funny to see somebody that's uh, that that's uh, that's named not accurate, or just saying like at not accurate, true. It's like, is it not accurate or is it true? <laughs> um, I don't know when you have details. Uh, so much consistent is more based on the polish and the progress and that. Uh, when you add details like this and make changes, etc., do you do dynamesh on the model? without losing detail well i don't care about like detail right now this is why i'm uh like if i had to do a dynamish i would but like i don't really I'm not really gonna play with the shapes at this point so i don't think i'm gonna need a dynamish actually at least for this design aspect i'm doing at the moment uh you can create a duplicate and project details yep that can be done uh thing two maybe so damn great stuff. I don't know if it's me, but it reminds me of Screaming Mantis from MGS4. I don't remember the character, but I'm um, I I wouldn't be surprised that I'm really inspired by by uh, Metal Gear because it was an important game in my my youth. Uh, all right. Let's back, get back into this. So yeah, the shapes are there. I'm I'm really just like like seeing if I'm going to be like needing like more like design to come out. No? Kind of like 
it's a bit what it's a bit like that's what i mean when i'm i'm talking about like mid-level like once you do like your um your your major shapes and stuff like you can go and like try to like add some like detailed things that don't really affect like the the silhouette per se but more like like the breakdown of the elements and and that sort of stuff Especially like how things are broken down. Sometimes it's uh, good to kind of like figure that out now. Huh? Like I could just j jump in and discover it, uh, like by myself on the f on the fly. Let's say that's what I meant. Yeah, there's a lot of like thing that goes that happens in my mind when I uh, give myself the chance to just like go over these things. So, in one sense, it can look like like mindless like sculpting, right? But uh, reality is that like I'm uh, it's just making me like consider like a few things. Also, like I kind of like need to be re uh, accustomed to that uh, design because I did it like a while ago, right? So I just want to. Try to feel again what I was going for. Huh?
I can do something, but it's not it's not really working as I Um, Amir Pointer, hi, what focal distance are you uh, you're use, usually use? I think it's like 50. Yeah, 50. It's like in between uh, like some perspective and kind of flat. No?
Is it necessary to use perspective in ZBrush? Uh, I would say absolutely. Uh, I think uh, using perspective is a very important thing to use almost all the time, in my opinion. Like I use I use orthographic only when I need to do like ex things that are like extremely straight.
Yep, this is um sometimes there are streams that I'm uh bit more talkative. This is one that's uh probably going to be a bit more quiet because uh since like what I'm doing is really um like making me like process things, consider some things. And when I do stuff like that, like I tend to just really get deep in my bubble. You know? Ross, where's the music? Um, I stopped it because there was too many people complaining. Uh, I'm glad I caught the stream. I I had a follow on your Twitter for a while. I, uh, I wasn't aware that you also streamed on Twitch. Yeah. You can find the recordings of his streams on YouTube if you missed. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for uh, thanks for sharing that information. Devin, I'm late to the party. Okay, okay. You can start. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Hi. Uh, complaining that the the sound was too loud, uh, the sound was too low, uh, all that stuff, and uh, like. I, I never really found like a, like a solution that worked all the time. It was always like testing and and I was getting a bit like frustrated and thought it was like wasting my time. So I just decided to uh, remove the music. Like, I mean, I do have some music playing right now, but it's like too low for people to hear. Uh,
I haven't checked so far what I have on my layer here. Yeah, it's like those like middle details. It's going to be good to to have just to make sure because, like I said, the shapes themselves. I'm pretty happy with with it, but I just want to know like where I'm going in terms of like mid detail and. As you see, like, like the adjustment on that part here, like it goes like from like somewhat simple to like just like adding like a level of like complexity to things, and um, I think that's uh, I think that's worth it. Arthur Asna, I actually love hearing the background music of your stream. Well, that's good to know. Um, I just didn't feel, feel like the people that appreciated it outweighed the people not liking it. So, uh, do you also model characters already in their pose? Um, uh, yeah, I do, of course. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, if you check my last stream, I was talking about a character that I, uh, 
like almost in, in exclusively model and pose. Uh, let's go on neopocalypse.com. Like this character was like almost entirely modeled and posed because there was not really much uh, symmetry. Yeah, uh, it's too quiet. I agree. Well, there you go. You see, <laughs> people cannot be happy. <laughs> if you guys are happy, the people that don't want the music not going to be happy. And. Uh, it's more complex to make the music at the right level than to just put no music. So if you guys think that's too quiet, well, you can just open Spotify, put two things at the same time. Me and some music, like I'm doing. Me, I have the... the my conscience is clear. I gave it my best, tried it, didn't work out. <laughs> Can't I sing instead? <laughs> sure. La 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 Hey. An entire stream of that. Just imagine. Just imagine.
there's also something is um like when I do those things, like sometimes I find just like like details that I can add to the character, but um like in this like process of like polishing and stuff, I won't place it like everywhere. Um like just adding that like little idea of like clip like here. It's like something I'll add it in like a few pieces in places, but like I can the rest I can pretty much assume that like I'll be like reusing that um that visual language on the character. So like I'm adding it just to see like oh does it look good here? Does it look good there? Like if I'm to add like other belts and stuff. I can just like automatically add them. Yeah, you know, like let's add like a like a layer of cloth in some areas. That's kind of like some like cloth that's holding holding all the um the synthetic muscles together. Sometimes like I find the synthetic muscle like the way they like kind of like get in under like the armor is a bit like like would require some more um Attention, maybe.
not sure what's happening, but my video camera is like disconnecting a lot. It's been the, the third time this stream.
Uh, the delivery system is definitely very useful. I wonder when you pulled the cylinder shape on her rib cage, why did you push it before out again uh, for the angle? Um, it's actually to test if I'm at the right angle before sticking it out. For some reason, it's a like reflex that I have uh, that I guess helps me. <laughs> uh, hey, Marco, can you change the title of the stream so new viewers won't have to ask every time what you're sculpting? Done. I have a second interview tomorrow for a character art position. Really good. Good luck. Good luck. Any tips from my experience? Um, oh, boy. Do I have tips about interviews? I mean, the moment they sell their portfolio, uh, your portfolio, they just want to see if like you're like a pleasant person. To be honest, I think that's the only thing at this point, I would guess. Well, just be yourself. And uh, if you're uh, nervous, just be honest with the fact that you're nervous. It's I think it's the best way to help with like being nervous is just assuming it and just mentioning it. Say like, I thank you for having me. Uh, this is really important to me and uh, I might be a bit nervous, but I'm excited to be here. That's what it means. Yeah, you can say something like that, no?
Yeah, I'm um it's it's really nice when it happens, but I'm uh, I'm really I'm really liking the direction I'm going right now. Like it's taking my it's taking me a bit of time, but like I, I'm just like re rediscovering the character, like my intentions on it. Um And, uh, and yeah, it's just, um, it feels good. And, uh, those like secondary level that I'm adding to the character are, uh, well, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm liking it. Uh, hey Marco, hello everyone. So good to see your stream. I was wondering if you were always sculpting from scratch, having fun on ZBrush, or if you had a concept on which you based your work. Uh, no, it's, um, well, this character was just uh, sculpted in ZBrush. Uh, no concept. Well, that's basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the concept right now. I started with, like, the big shapes. Now I'm just, like, refining, like, like the connection in between everything, the kind of, like, detail I'm going for, uh, that sort of stuff. But no, like if I'm looking at the another screen for reference, I'm actually looking for like either like just references I I like on the internet, or um, or uh, like my own uh, insectoid series. Huh?
Uh, Chaos Missions, are you doing mentorship? Uh, no, unfortunately, we don't have the time for that. Is this the widow idea you talked about? Uh, n <laughs> actually, funnily enough, no. Um, I was talking about like a biomechanical character that's also a widow. It's just like super coincidence. The two characters that I had, I had in line were inspired by uh, Black Widows. Um, I don't know why. It just happened like that. But no, that's actually the um, that's yet a spider character, which is also a Black Widow. Uh, is there one? Laura, do I hear French in your accent? Oui, tu entends beaucoup de français dans mon accent, probablement. Hopefully, it goes smoothly. Uh, the bonds, the bonds name, the James name, bond names, the James, Bames, nuns. I'm having astral. <laughs> uh, which app? Uh, this is ZBrush. Uh, are you thinking about how this is going to be moving? Um, just to a minor level, because um, I'm going to, um, like, the, the, the insectoids, I never do, like, big poses with them. They're always, like, kind of, like, relaxed, so there's not much posing involved. And uh, what I do is I just make sure that, like, near, like, the areas of flexion, there's, like, cloth materials so that it's easier to, to bend. I don't have rely too much on, like, mechanical be bending. Um, so this is, yeah, this is pretty much, like... Like how I go by things. Huh? Je me suis confirmé ça avec ton ex. Ton... Je me suis confirmé ça avec ton art station. Dans quel sens? Ah, parce que de vue, je n'ai de Montréal. Oui, exact. Donc, oui, c'est kind of like... Like I said, it's um, it's a particular stage because when you do like the before and after, sometimes it doesn't really look like much has has changed. But like in my head, like there's a lot of like confidence in design that is gained. And uh, and yeah, so it's a uh, it's a pretty important, uh, pretty valuable step, let's say. Like some some of these things are not necessary to do like the um like refining those lines doesn't help with like figuring out more like the design necessarily but it's more like my brain that just like processes and confirms it and it helps it gives me a good time to look like elsewhere and Look at the ensemble of things, kind of like a meditative state in a sense. Huh?
Uh, well, the tube on her arm and next to her neck will be a bit transparent, like Bane's Venom with the drug. Oh, um, no, not necessarily. Uh, it's just a, it's just a really like a thick, um, a thick uh, black uh, like material. As as at least for the moment, that's how like I'm considering it. But um, but I'll see. I'll see. I mean, it's not, it's, uh, it's really not a bad idea, though. Whoops. Uh, it's inspiring to watch your scope. Uh, it it uh, helps a lot understanding the mistake I can make or understand things I struggle with. Pretty good, cool. There is not much three character sculpt on Twitch. It's very really cool. Yeah, I know. I've been looking for for some, and uh, yeah, I can't uh, can't find them. When is the twenty four hour sculpting stream? Ah, uh, that's okay. Well, when my kid's gonna be older, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of like uh, it's not a not a bad idea. Kind of like makes me think. Maybe I could do like a sculpt sculpt a ton. I don't know how to call that. Probably like a charity or something. 
feel like when people are doing like those like super long stream it's always like for donation and a cause and whatever you know Uh, is that a special smooth brush that you're using? Looks like it doesn't destroy your shape. You know, it's it, it's really the standard smooth brush. It's just about like smoothing at the right place, right radius, that sort of stuff.
Um, da -da -da -da. 24 hour scope challenge with the Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I kind know of you're focusing right now, but can you share your thought process as you scope? Uh, incredible. Thank you, morbidity. Um, yeah, I try to. It's just I get uh, really focused on uh, on a few things right now. Uh, like right now, I'm focusing on the uh, the kind of like fascia parts of the design, trying to just like see if it was a good idea to have these. Which uh, for the moment, I think it is. Just to break the, uh, just add like kind of like a intermediary material in between the um, in between the, uh, the 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 muscle and the armor because like I feel like it's like kind of like missing like a surface that protects both of them like the cable to not get like stuck in between like what's under the plate and uh, yeah I mean it, base level it's just like a good thing to have like a in between an in between kind of a uh, material like a and always it helps in the in 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 some ways it's just like an intricate design and it's uh it's cool and now i'm focusing on like also like what like what is considered like much smaller details just to add the uh, really no like what's the the main like detail focus because there's going to be at some point details i'm going to add that are Kind of like um, just like throwaway detail, just to 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 make some visual noise. But like at the moment, I'm just like thinking about the actual detail that are like like elements of the design. Right now, I'm fixing the the line flow. Of this part here so you see i'm just going over and really letting my mind see what it needs to see like anything that i find yeah it's got i've been doing this for so long that like at some point i can just like just go around the model like this and just like let let my brain process like what it sees but that's of course that's because i've been doing that for for so long that I can permit myself to do that kind of stuff, no? I, and to, but to be honest, like, this is... I've been sculpting like that for a long time. Like, I almost call it, like, emotional sculpting. Like, I just let my, like, my feeling about the things, like, guide my decisions. Like, I trust that, like, my feeling, like, um... Uh, my my feeling, my eyes, my perception of like my art is going to like guide me in the right direction. So I just I listen to it basically, you know. But it, of course, you can't listen to everything. Some thoughts are not the good ones, right? But like with time, kind of like understand like what are the the the, the good guidance voices in your head and. Which are which ones are less good? Let's say. Well, this here, like, it doesn't really make sense to have, like, the fascia and, like, the joint. I might actually need to undo this.
Yeah. So I think it's going to be the end of the stream now. Seeing this just inspires me to get back into sculpting and 3D in general. Good, cool, perfect. The Gruber, hello, hello. Is this a new insectoid? Indeed it is. Ah, uh, Moa just came in, I guess. <laughs> no! <laughs> Moa, that's like your... That's your curse, dude. Your curse to always come at the last minute. <laughs> Oh, uh, poor you. Oh, poor you, I mean. Hello, what's up? Hello, Loba Bay. So, yeah. Um... So I'm going to stop for today. Um, so I'm going to stop for today. Like I said, if I look at like what has been done, not much, but like I said, today was a bit of like getting reaccustomed with that design. Just like remembering where I'm going, what my, my intentions are. But um, there's some good defining of like some areas, how I'm going to break them apart or... Um, like what process I'm going to to use to split them. Uh, there's still some stuff I need to go around. I think that next stream is going to be somewhat similar, just going around the design and and figuring out, yeah, figuring out like, you know, like just like this here, like having like, like separations, like this on my model, it's stuff that's going to help. And uh, I think I'm going to need, I'm going to need to kind of like go around and prepare for those, kind of like think about those, this connection. Some areas. I mean, we haven't, we haven't looked at the arms also. I mean, the, uh, the, the, the hands are probably just going to be like, uh, I'm just going to copy paste something I did from another um, insectoid, but I'm going to need to go around. Yeah, I go around a bunch of places and uh, and consider some things. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, give myself the opportunity on the next stream to still go over those things. And once I've went over like all of that, like I know I'll be ready to start on the the polishing of the character. I could always just like throw myself in the fire and start like the polishing right now but i don't know i'm uh, kind of like enjoying taking my time really um trying to push the design a little like put more thought in the design just a little bit more like those thoughts maybe would have come um those thoughts maybe would have come during the the um, during the the, the the polishing phase but uh Yeah, I'm just enjoying that. So, um, the, the hands, I, the arms, or the forearms, I should say. I didn't really take a look at that. Uh, the needle also. And the head wasn't really touched. Um, the rest I went over. A good, good amount of, like, uh, parts of it. So, I'm good with these. And the other arms at the back those will be like a copy paste so i don't need to look them over yep 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 all right that's i think that's going to be a good one i'm um i'm officially officially excited to start this uh, new project you can take that to the bank You need 
There we go. We're gonna go do a little, uh, little raid. All right. So, like I said, uh, thanks for joining in. Uh, that was cool. This is the beginning of a new one. Um, pretty excited. So, um, yeah, uh, join in next week around the same time. I'll. Uh, oh, maybe not next week. Next week, I got something on a Tuesday. I think. Anyways, we'll see. I'll, uh, if you want to know, like, what's my timing about things and stuff, um, just uh, just go and uh, check our Discord. Uh, you can go on Discord. I always say when I do my stream there and I'll might as well just click on the link, uh, uh, the link. Wow. The link below and, um, just check like our social medias or whatever. We have tutorials there. We have a bunch of stuff and, um, yeah, just, uh, keep posted. So there we go. Um, at some point, at some point we'll get a character that looks kind of like this or kind of like this one. Oop, there we go. So, uh, and that'll be the goal of this, uh, series. So, so yeah. All right. Uh, thanks everyone for joining and, uh, and yeah, I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao.